Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the As Always podcast, episode 153. I'm your host James and I'm joined as always by Tyler. As always, how's it going my friend? It's going well, how are you doing? I'm doing good, doing good, happy to be here, excited for this podcast. I'm doing it on a Friday night for me, which is weird, very weird. Yeah. Um, you know, feeling good, it feels like, I don't know, I'm, I'm ready for a classic classic episode classic that's yeah. what i'm feeling like right now heading into this mm-hmm. i've written a list i've just added a bunch of topics i found last minute um mm-hmm. and yeah. we don't have we're not it's not gonna be a super long episode you gotta take sword of the vet i do um but i've got a wrap so we're gonna rapid fire a lot of these topics but yeah. there are a lot of big news a lot of things i want to talk to you about mm-hmm. um a lot to discuss um so I'm, I'm excited to be here how are you doing though what's going on yeah you know not too bad just doing bits of gaming here and there um i've had i found a lot more sort of I don't know, I've enjoyed making videos a lot more recently. It's been really nice to just talk mm. about stuff that I, you know, give a shit about and just put out, put out videos. A lot of people have been really happy about it, so... Um, yep. It's been nice. It's been good vibes uh, all around. Oh, it's been like good I'm, vibes. It's I, feel been like, vibes. I feel like everything is coming back together again. I feel like everything sort of makes a bit of, bit, bit of sense uh, after we had that big yeah. old conversation for this podcast and everything. I don't know. I feel well, like... But it was more than that. It was again. like, dude, we went through six months of, like, we're here, but none of us are here. Yeah. That was weird. Yeah. Looking back, because like not that we're fully there yet, but looking at my feed and the other day, and Ethan, you, and myself have all put out a video yeah. about a video game that we like and enjoy, and yeah. we're all covering, we're all getting hyped for, and George is doing a stream series, but like, I was like, this is what we're talking about. This is the type, this is it. And I... Saw that camp for Halo Infinite, and well, we're going to talk about it, obviously. That's, like, uh-huh. I think the main topic of this podcast. Um, Halo Infinite's campaign re-reveal. Uh, I refuse to call it a reveal. Um, and I just, I don't know, like, I, I just finally got the urge. I've been thinking about doing videos and of some kind and talking about games. And it, I was like, no, I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. I, I got home from work, and I was sitting on the couch, like, feeling, like, so exhausted. The last thing I want to do is make a video. And I had to do Clubhouse right afterwards mm-hmm. as well. So I knew then I was like, nah, doing it. I just smashed it out. Felt gr- And everything was going wrong. My camera kept fucking up. I tried five times to record Classic. that video. I was like, oh, am I just not meant to do this? Am I supposed to just never do YouTube again? <laughs> but I, I didn't. I was determined. I got through it, put out the video, and I just had this nice feeling in my heart of like, oh my God, I've missed that feeling of yeah. like uploading a video to the channel that's me talking about a game that mm. I like or like you know you know what I'm saying yeah you, yeah you want to talk about I yeah. should say mm. yeah yeah for sure I agree what a feeling what a feeling yeah, it's, it's coming nice. together um, though podcasts have been cursed the last week That's Clubhouse true. yeah Four Pillars podcast mm. like it's Friday and it's not even out yet <laughs> yeah oh my god yet. it's been a mess um, it's been a fucking disaster we even it's we've been, been during disaster. during the Four Pillars podcast I mean people know because it's been out but uh, by the time this is up but we we got 20 minutes in and george is like oh shit my recording stopped a minute in so we had to just go back and do it all again wow it was, do it uh, all again it was 20 minutes of good conversation too so we had to just speed run everything because we weren't going to talk about it all in depth again we sort of went yeah. off the rails talked about some stuff but people are never going to hear that so yeah right i mean i wasn't there so i don't even know yeah it was uh um, it was weird mm, yeah i felt bad but bad for missing that but honestly the last two weeks have been fucked like i have been mm. insanely busy at work like i, yeah. I just i get home and i'm like i have no energy mm-hmm. i i just need to fucking lie down yeah yeah you know a super early starts i'm in the office like that week we were supposed to do that four pillars podcast i was in the office at my desk at 7 a.m every day damn on that friday the, like the day after it was recorded i was going to be in the office like 6 6 30 and I didn't get home until like late that night. Mm-hmm. Like I was, just, I was just doing massive days, and this week's been similar. Though today I was actually out before five o'clock, which I was mm-hmm. like, "This is nice." I did start at seven again, but that's cool. That doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's just been crazy. Um, mm. But I've been, I've got the motivation back to. I've been back exercising and just feeling, feeling good in that way. Putting out a video made me feel really good. Like mentally, felt really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I also put out an album reaction to Ed Sheeran's new album Equals it's not out yet but it'll be out like after this podcast um, okay. uh, so and that was cool I like doing that and I love new music and it's a great fucking album I really like it's not 
You haven't listened to it yet? I've not. It's not it's not divide. Like it's not that level. Like mm-hmm. but you can't you you didn't think it was going to be I certainly did before it, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like yeah, it's yeah. not. It's divides divide and I know I'm like this will be the peak and he'll never beat it probably. Mm-hmm. Um and it doesn't. But is it really good still? Like yeah, of course. There's great there's some great songs on there. It's but it's classic Ed Sheeran songs and then plenty of songs you're like, fuck, that's a great like new sound that you've mm. never heard him do before. So it's that the perfect balance, I think, of all those things. And okay. it's really well produced. He's a great writer. I, I really enjoyed it. And for someone that didn't like either of the singles, didn't like Shivers, didn't like Bad Habits, um, the rest of the album's really, really enjoyable. Nice. That's some good. surprises. There's some surprises in there. I'm excited for your thoughts on it. Nice. Um, but I thought I'd throw that in there as a rapid fire fucking topic for you yeah um actually let's let's leave halo to the end so we're not rushing it because i don't want to like spend i I could like if we can spend as much time as we can that's what you want so let's Mm -hmm. rapid fire a whole bunch of topics but before we do that we've obviously got to thank the great people on patreon.com forward slash as always for making the show happen ladies and gentlemen so if you want to hear more of this if you like what you're listening to here and you want more you want exclusive content you want some great podcast content the clubhouse podcast exclusive to patreon.com forward slash as always there's 125 episodes to stream for just as little as a dollar a month right now if you head over there plus early access to videos james puts out other projects you get to vote in civil war topics no civil war today um we don't have time but also mm-hmm. i forgot because we was trying to get a guest on and then it just sort of happened this way yeah, that's true. um but that's okay that's fine we're here it's exciting it's um, exciting, man. And we've got to we've got to thank the producers that make this happen. We would not be here without them. Literally, I would have quit. Um, we have Ollie the Superior Ollie, Avery Dobbs, Baron Keen, Clark Fifty Three, Damien, Epic Alaric, or Galadriel's Mystical Pussy, Ferentino. That's first of all. Alec, that's disrespectful to the Lady Galadriel. <laughs> Flash Paradox, Franco, Jesper Olsen, King Richard III, Ryan Hather, Seth, and Ballsack47. Thank you, sweet vintage lads, for helping power this podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, so, James, I want to yes. know, what are your thoughts on Hayden Christensen has been confirmed to yeah. reprise his role as Anakin Skywalker slash maybe Darth Vader, we don't know, in Ahsoka? Yeah. In Interesting. The series it's, of it's cool to see him come back and do bits and bobs in Star Wars. I think he deserves more. People love him. Um, we love um, him now. Isn't that um, great? We just love him now. Yeah, we love the boy. It's, you know, it's fun. I mean, I don't really give a shit about Star Wars. And I'm, I, will I watch Ahsoka? I don't really know. I'm going to be honest with you. I will but, now. Um, I will now. I, will I now. don't know if our I boys, care enough. Our like, boys, I, our, our I, I might are... like, I might like watch, watch the scenes with him in or something. I don't know. Yeah. But, um, that makes sense. It's good though. It's cool. It's really nice to see, um, seeing him embraced by Star Wars fans, um, and you know, he, it's it's cool. Like he was, he was. It's not like the greatest actor of all time, um, and you know, part of that, part of the stuff why why he sucked in you know the prequels was down to like George Lucas's writing. Um, yeah, but it was because what did you see in Revenge of the Sith when they had like Steven Spielberg fucking pretty much directing that movie? Mm-hmm. You know, you got yeah, you got to yeah. wait like a ten times better performance from him. Yeah, than yeah. In, he's uh, got he's got way more potential than we saw. I think he's he, he can do good bits and pieces, and we see like like the confrontation between him and Obi Wan at the end of Revenge of the Sith is really strong. Um, he's you can see that he's he you know he's he's a lot more compelling than Revenge of the Sith, and I just seeing him under someone that is able to write you know competently um and 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 well and seeing seeing it portrayed maybe you know if we see any flashback scenes of him during the you know the clone wars um seeing him portrayed a little bit more like uh like like he was in the clone war show but hayden christensen doing it that'd be really nice to see um but yeah i'm 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 it's cool i'm 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 happy for him and i'm happy for star wars fans even though i don't really care that much i guess yeah 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 i understand i'm i'm really excited like because mm-hmm. i'm with you with star wars you're probably a bit more off Wars than i am but i'm i'm off star wars um mm-hmm. i'm pumped up for the obi-wan show though like that's the thing i've been waiting the whole time since disney bought star wars is i want you and mcgregor and i want obi-wan yeah. and when they go yeah we'll give you a mcgregor and obi-wan and we'll also give you hayden christians as anakin and i'm like well my dick's hard and my dick's hard yeah, yeah so yeah. um i'm very pumped up about that yeah that's uh, very exciting on a personal level yeah. um so i think it's just cool that yeah he said yes to come back he's working with like his old friends plus obviously all this new crew that would be making this but like ha- him and your mcgregor that spent years working together on these movies mm-hmm. um it's just cool that they've got to come back and 
and reprise these roles as older, more mature people with a different perspective on the characters and on the experience of Star Wars mm. um, and really be able to deliver that. Like, I mean, Aiden Christian playing a Darth Vader role after Revenge of the Sith, after years yeah. of Star Wars Fantanium, he's probably got some dark side anger to fucking unleash the character. You know what I mean? Like, mm. it's... I think it could come off in the performance, perhaps, uh, yeah. which is cool. Uh, but then to, that he wants to still stick around and be back again for a second. Like, he doesn't have social media. He never was that guy when social media was around because mm. I think he knew what would happen if he did get it. Yeah. He's like, I'll just get hate. Everyone hate me. And he's been that actor that everyone's just hated on for years. And now he's getting love. And it's just nice that he's, like, embracing that love and, like, being like, yeah, I, like, I loved it. I'm glad now other people want me back and I'm happy to be back. Yeah. So him, him just saying yes is huge, I think. Yeah, and I think it goes to show, like, when he first started and he did Star Wars, he got so much shit from all of the fans. But you don't really get to see the amount of people that his performance as Anakin Skywalker really did touch. Like, you know, the people we that were grew kids, up with man, it. When there was no way our voice of being excited for Star Wars could get through to Hayden Christensen. It was always, you know, these people that grew up with the original trilogy that were really disappointed with, you know, you know, right, rightfully so in a lot of ways with the with the prequels. Um, but now you've got, you know, everyone's grown up, and you know, the people that grew up with the prequels are adults now. Our, our voices are a lot louder and so hayden christensen can really see now you know like when he showed up at star wars celebration a few years ago the amount of yeah, people now so that cool. really do love him and really did you know they really cherish that that those prequel stories and especially revenge of the sith and anakin skywalker as well so it's it's nice it must be nice for him to to have that to finally have that like response and be able to see you know wow actually being in this role it wasn't you know completely worthless because a lot of people loved it so i think that's really yeah. nice yeah yeah no i'm pumped i'm pumped it's exciting um awesome next mm -hmm. next one for you yes hawkeye we have not talked about i don't think the marvel's uh disney plus hawkeye show no, we've not. got a couple trailers for it in mm -hmm. the last month and a bit yeah uh it's a christmas show hell yeah it's I'm, a christmas show. i am all in for that you know me i, I love christmas. i know you and even i'm buzzing about that it's i don't know like i saw the trailer, i'm like I kind of love that. Mm -hmm. It's just different. Like, I'm going to watch your mom, but it's like a Christmas movie. I'm like, I, I don't know. There's something about it I like. The the marketing's been great. Like, the posters, the artwork, mm -hmm. all the key art, everything. Like, I'm like, I really am digging the whole vibe of this Hawkeye show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, no, I think it's 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 looking good. I like the vibes. I like the Christmas stuff. Um, and we and operate off like vibes. So if you like the do. vibes, that's yeah, just, exactly. just a great thing. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it it just looks like i i really like the tone of it like it looks like it's going to have its time to to do some you know meaningful stuff for the characters but also at the same time it's kind of just having a good time and you know doing bits and bobs i don't know it looks really fun it looks different from the other shows that we've got so far um in what it's doing and yeah no i'm just i'm looking forward to, to seeing where they take it yeah no absolutely i'm um, as well what are your thoughts on what's it Haley? Um, what's the, the that's the main girl? Oh yeah, yeah. In the show, what's her name? Um, it's um, fuck. Uh, no, I, I, I could I know just it. Google it yeah. right now. No, I, well, let's I, Google it. Okay, I'll let you Google it. Haley, I want to say it's Haley, um, fucking something. I just typed in the word Haley and hoped it would pop up, but it didn't. It didn't work. Um, it didn't. You didn't go Hawkeye cast. You fucking idiot. No. Here we go. Let's have a look. Where is she? Haley Steinfeld, that's her name. I uh, see. That's I, I was gonna that. say. I was gonna say that, but I was almost like, is it? It's not Seinfeld. Oh, Seinfeld. Seinfeld. So, I'm like, that's not right. It's not Seinfeld. No, it's not. Um, okay. Yeah, Haley Steinfeld. What are your thoughts on? Her? Like, they'd been everyone had been talking about her, and I always thought it was like her playing his daughter, but right, she's not. Yeah. No, like she's yeah. just some other character. I didn't realize mm -hmm. that. What What's your thoughts there? Uh. I don't really have many thoughts. Like, she'll probably do a good job. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see, you know, how she portrays this character. I don't really know much of the backstory of the character from the comics or anything like that. Um, or, you know, I've not really... I can't... I don't think I've seen her in much. She was in Transformers, that Bumblebee movie, which was actually pretty good, actually. Um, but she'll probably, you know, she'll probably do bits and bobs. I, I don't know. It's weird. I, I don't think I've seen the newest trailer for Hawkeye. I think I saw the first one that came out a while back. Um, oh, so it's good. not it's not super fresh in my mind but um yeah but yeah i don't know i like i i, I like her as an actress 
Um, yeah. And it looks like she plays off of um, our boy. What the fuck's his name? Uh, Jeremy Renner, pretty well. Yeah, so. Jeremy Renner. You, um, you know Jeremy Renner's a singer in a like a rock band. Is he really? Yeah, dude, and it's fucking. It's pretty funny. That's amazing. Well, do you not know? No, surely I didn't know you that. know. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll send you a song. <laughs> okay, all right. I don't know why I'm laughing. It's not bad or anything, but it's just funny because it's Jeremy Renner. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Um, Doesn't everyone hate Jeremy Renner? Isn't he like cancelled by Twitter? Why is that? I don't know. Like he, I don't know. I don't remember. He, he's apparently he's transphobic, but I don't really know what that means. When, yeah, what does that Twitter mean? Twitter says that. Um, Dave Chappelle's also transphobic. Yeah, well, so is everybody. Um, so. Well, you certainly are. Oh, I that? definitely am transphobic, yeah. Yeah, what is this? What year is this? Um, <laughs> dude, this music video is so dramatic. Ju- oh, dude, just the first... <laughs> okay, uh, let's see on, I gotta send this to you. Right. I don't know why I find it so... F- fucking funny just the opening like chords that he hits like you get to, get to the first just 20 seconds into this to right. Jeremy Renner main attraction here we go uh, if you if, if people want to watch along slash Josh put it on screen um, pull that shit up Josh uh, <laughs> alright what are we doing are we watching from the start yeah let's just watch from the start okay right. we won't watch the whole thing let's just watch a quick quick snippet of it just all to right. sh- while we're on the subject okay yeah, the camera. play in three two one go it's <laughs> i don't know why it's so funny because he's a great actor i really like jeremy renner yeah i think he's good but he he's a lead singer in a band like yeah, look at him he's really epic and he's just acting very like <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why i don't know why i find this so funny It's so. It just weird. doesn't feel I, real. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't expect him to be like a, a singer. I guess. And he's just throwing his hands everywhere. He's having a great time. There's seven. There's seven people watching his band. <laughs> there's seven people watching his band. He's just feeling himself so much. He's loving it. This just. This band sounds like. Um, What's that band? I don't know. <laughs> what's that band? I'm done with this song, by the way. Um, um, what's that band called? The one that we did the... Um, uh, the one that we did the uh, Defy parody of. What the fuck is that band called? Def- uh, uh, Count- oh, Counting Stars. Bastille. No, no, oh, no. no. That's, um, Counting Stars, that's One, Repu- one Republic? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One Republic. That's what he sounds like. In my does opinion. he? I mean, I Love don't it. know. A little bit. Maybe. Um, that's maybe the only one Republic song I know, though, is Counting Stars, so I don't really know. I think that's the only one I know as well, though. I just think it sounds a bit yeah. like that. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Mm. So there you go. Yeah. Anyway, Joe Marino's band, a bit funny. I find mm-hmm. it funny. I don't know why. Um, but uh, there's that. Anyway, to mm-hmm. Hawkeye. Yes. It... I. I assumed, right, this show would be a very much a, like a Black Widow. The only purpose is to set up the next Hawkeye, the next Black Widow, you know, all that sort of shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but obviously we know uh, Black Widow dies. Spoilers. Um, oh, what? Yeah, I know, man. I'm what sorry. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, she dies. I hate to break it to you. But she was in um, Black Widow. She was she alive was at Black the Widow. end. She was alive <laughs> at the end of Black Widow, James. What the That's fuck true. happened? Not, nothing you've said is incorrect. <laughs> oh, um, my God. But actually, she wasn't alive at the end of Black Widow. Like, yeah, they, she well, actually I didn't, wasn't. I didn't watch the post credit scene. I stopped. So How do you she know was I'm alive. I, um, I don't know. Yeah, I got you there, you little <laughs> fucking dickhead. Um, but I, in a Christmas show, can you really kill Hawkeye? Like, what happens there? Yeah, I hope not. Does Clint, does Clint die? I mean, I assume he just wants to be with his family you know he's like Look, retires just, sort of thing yeah i'm just heading off well did you hear the rumors kevin this week kevin feige wanted to kill the all six original avengers oh in endgame god that's why that would have been way too much yeah Jesus, i mean to be fair he killed been... three of them and what and hulk he pretty much retired hulk so you're only left like with mm-hmm. thor but like you can't kill thor how the fuck are you supposed to kill thor 
Yeah, I don't know. How would you kill Thor? You, you don't. You keep your high tackle a TD back and you make another one. That's what you do, and they've done yeah. the right thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. For but sure. That that's a weird thing, but I I don't know you can't I don't I don't think they're gonna kill Hawkeye in the show. That's all I'm saying. No, that's the I point I'm trying so. to make. You. Definitely, you not. can't kill an original Avenger in a Disney Plus show. You can't do it with the greatest respect. No, nah, I don't Disney think Plus. so. I don't think they'll kill him. I think Hawkeye's still he's hanging about a bit, um, in one way or another. But what I'm I'm excited to see Yelena though in the show, because mm-hmm. she's supposed to be obviously in um in Hawkeye as well. So that'll be an interesting mm-hmm. one to see um. Florence Pugh's character, Elena and um, Haley uh, Seinfeld, Steinfeld, um, her character yeah, yeah. interact because I, I assume they're going to be some sort of like the same way you'd think the same way Black Widow and Hawkeye were like you know Natasha and Clint were great friends. There'll be some sort of like maybe friendly rivalry mm-hmm. as future Avengers or Dark Avengers. You know who knows? Yeah, um, yeah, probably from those two. Does she joined the Dark Avengers with Yelena. Is that a thing? And we see that wrap up in Cap 4. I feel like they'll have a rivalry. I feel more so of like a... We're going to team up. I, th- I think if anything, Yelena will be like... Would join her more so than the other way around. I don't know. I don't think there's any motivation for... Um, this new Hawkeye to to join them. I don't know. I feel like... it's a great point. I feel like no. But anything's possible... Like in the Marvel okay. Cinematic Universe. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Well, mm-hmm. I guess we'll move on from this because it's Hawkeye. How interesting really is it? The um, most. What, what I found interesting though is Eternals mm. review comes out next week. Uh, and the reviews haven't been the best. In fact, on Rotten Tomatoes, from, from critic reviews, right. it's the lowest rated Marvel movie of all time. Ooh. What's your thoughts there? That's rough. That is rough. Yeah, it I mean, is rough. The trailer looked good, so that's... It, I thought it looked really no, good. That's a trailer. shock. That's a shock. But maybe it tries to juggle too many things. And in it's doing so, the pacing just is fucked, maybe. Maybe it just feels like they try to cram in way too much shit, and there's just not enough time for it all to be fleshed out. I feel like that could be the issue here with the Eternals. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. Um, I'm seeing on Wednesday. I'm ex- I'm always excited for a new Marvel movie. It's just a fun experience. You get excited for it because you know it's yeah, going to yeah. be like at worst an average. Like at worst, going to be good. You know, mm-hmm. just good. Um, but you go into the movies to, to watch it, so it's just it's a good time. So I'm excited to see it. Obviously, You've got some great actors in there. I'm actually really excited to see Kit Harrington involved mm-hmm. in Marvel. I don't yeah, know why. Yeah. I, just lo- I just love him. Love our boy. Um, mm-hmm. So I don't know. I, I mean, I'm obviously a bit sad if it's shit yeah, you know yeah. if it, that's the worst I just don't think it'll I I don't think it's gonna be my least favorite Marvel movie I just I'm just calling it now yeah I don't think I could like it less than I liked Hulk or mm-hmm. Captain Marvel or something you know what I mean yeah like yeah. come on yeah there's no way yeah surely we're gonna like some of the characters enough that we'll be like well all I've got to do is like the characters and I like them more than Hulk and fucking... Yeah, Captain exactly. Marvel. Yeah, as long as the characters <laughs> are there and they're all right, then, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll see. I don't know. Um, mm-hmm. But the trailers looked good. The trailers looked good. It's an interesting tone shift. Um, these mm-hmm. fucking space wizards and, and all that. I'm not... I just don't know what the point of the Eternals are. Like, yeah. these gods. Like, what? Where do they? where are they fitting in in the future yeah like, I guess we'll find out I guess they'll explain it all the I guess they will, will but all... yeah, no, no yeah that's true it will be revealed mm-hmm. it will be revealed but I don't know yeah. I'm, 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 I'm nervous now I'm nervous now that's all I'm saying yeah that's all I'm saying um next on the list Spider-Man No Way Home a lot of Marvel fucking news dude yeah there's fucking been a bit Marvel. No Way Home there's stuff isn't there a little bit yeah like I'm not feeling this. You know? Stuff. I'm not feeling No Way Home. I'm just not feeling it. I'm obviously mm. very excited because I know it's going to be great, but I think the marketing has been a fucking shit. Yeah, it's been weird. Like, I didn't enjoy the trailer as much as everyone else did. I just didn't. I thought the trailer was mid. Yeah. Um, For No Way Home, I thought it was very mid. Yeah. I, I'm not a Raimi Spider-Man guy, so I wasn't like, oh my God, 
Doc Ox back from Spider Man mm. Two? Because especially it would have been cool if we didn't know, but we knew. So it wasn't like I would have been buzzing if it was like, holy shit, we had no idea what a shock. Yeah, but we knew yeah. that. We did know, yeah. Like it was so there's it's not like there's some big surprise to it. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, dude. Yeah. I don't know what to think. No, I don't know. Um, it is just it has putting out weird. these screen grabs of Doc Ock like grabbing Spider Man or chasing Spider Man. It just looks like a fucking it looks like a, some weird fucked up Photoshop, all of the stuff that's come out. It yeah. just looks weird to me. I don't yeah. know how you feel about it. You t- you tell me. No, I'm, I'm with you. I think it's been weird. It's just been a bit weird marketing-wise. I just don't really know what they're trying to do. Like, they released the trailer after a very long time, and then they're just, like, releasing these weird screenshots that just feel a bit, like... There's really odd choices of screenshots. It almost feels like Marvel are, like... Or Sony are, like... They, like, are trying to manufacture their own memes... By like posting these like really shit weird screen grabs, they're like, oh, Twitter will turn this into a meme. Um, Isn't that weird, dude? Yeah, it is a bit weird. It feels really strange. I don't really know what to say. It's uh, I don't know. I think the movie will be a fun time. I I think I'll be I'll be into it when I'm watching it. But this marketing has been fucking strange. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Like definitely with you in terms of like when I'm going into the theater, I'm gonna be buzzing because mm-hmm. it's. I love, you know, the MCU Spider-Man. I think this is where I draw the line with it, though. Mm -hmm. Like, I've been a great defender of all these Spider-Man movies, including Far From Home and Tom Holland and and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, But I think there needs to be some... We can't end... Tom Holland's Spider-Man, Tom Holland's Peter Parker, can't be the same fucking guy in this movie that he was in far from home and, and homecoming like he's got to show the growth he's been through after far from home yeah because my defense was like no but like far from home he changed a lot but if he's just acting like the same fuckwit whiner then i'm mm. like okay well we're, we're still the same cat we haven't changed characters at all so this is where i draw the line with the spider-man mm-hmm. uh, um so i'm hoping it's a big um big shift yeah personally. yeah i hope so I definitely, definitely hope so. Have you seen the post credit scene for Venom 2? Uh, absolutely not, because I don't do, watch that do shit. You know, do you know what it, what happens? No, I don't. What happens? Um, okay, spoilers for Venom 2. Uh, we'll, I don't know, time stamp it if you really do care. Um, so yeah. the ending of Venom 2, uh, Venom is alone in a hotel room. Not Venom, it's, you know, Eddie Brock, but he's there. Uh, and then he puts yeah. on the Venom thing and he's watching the news and on the news he puts on the venom thing what's the happening venom thing you know the symbiote like he puts it on he's like oh, now i'm venom oh, now I, I didn't know oh okay like a suit he like puts it on I, it's just the way you said it was weird oh, like, well, well, like, he, like you know he, he like the, the symbiote goes venom? yeah it goes like blah, 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 around him anyway um so he yeah. turns into venom <laughs> um and he's so he's watching the news in his hotel room and on the news is the daily bugle reporting that spider-man's identity has been revealed and the spider-man is peter parker and tom holland is on the screen um so <sighs> so it's technically mcu uh, well, have you seen yeah. venom 2 no 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 definitely not okay no i, I just Andy see, I just circus Googled directed it. it but really hmm. yeah hmm. and i like Andy circus a lot oh. very partisan to Andy circus oh he's he's good good guy interesting interesting but yeah i don't really know where they're going with this um it's a little bit concerning um but it's just confusing i don't understand what sony and what's marvel anymore. yeah i don't really know if this means yeah i don't know if the, if they're doing a proper full crossover or is venom now in the mcu are they taking spider-man out of the mcu like what are they doing i, I really don't know um yeah i'm i'm a bit confused as to what they're doing with this the whole spider-man thing since he's been in the mcu really has just been very confusing and very fucking weird um it's like marvel haven't had full control sony have like been doing bits here and there and like they're trying to create their own little universe and they're trying to say that it is mcu then it's not mcu then it is mcu again like yeah it's been fucking weird um it's been fucking weird bro i guess we'll find out but yeah i i don't know this is going to be strange. I mean, Tom Holland has said, because um, there's little bits of like information that came out from like I don't know reports or interviews or whatever, where he said like this this Spider-Man movie, No Way Home, is like the end of an era. 
or something. So it's like Spider-Man 4, whatever it might be, is not going to be the same thing at all. Like, it's going to be very different. Um, and he also said on set, it was, like, really sad um, for, like, him and his, like, co-stars that play, like, MJ and Ned to uh, be... Oh, I don't like that. To be, like... Because they didn't know if they were ever going to film together again, so they might not be in future films. Um, who knows what's going to happen uh, moving forward, whether this is Spider-Man moving into the Sony universe or something else i don't i don't don't know what the fuck uh this is it's too much this this honestly do you know what's fucking weird what we all got so upset after endgame when the whole sony deal fucked up with Mm -hmm. spider-man we're like this is fuck the mcu he has to come back and now that he's come back he's fucking up the mcu (laughs) like (laughs) like him being back is fucking up the mcu what do you mean what you're confusing these fucking shit movies Sony are doing. Mm. And one of them has fucking Jared Leto in it. Get oh, fucked. Oh, yeah. And you're going to tell me that's Nick. I got it. I'm not seeing that shit. Morbius. And it's got to. It, it's got anything to do oh, with the Oh, the weirdest MCU. part about that, though, is in the fucking Morbius trailer, um, you've got. There's a fucking graffiti of Sam Raimi's Spider Man, like, on the wall. And, like, the Daily Bugle symbol and everything is the same Daily Bugle symbol from the Raimi trilogy. So it's it's like when they made that Morbius trailer, they were alluding to it being in the Raimi universe. Um, but now is it supposed to be in the MCU? No, I don't really no, know. Be, no, because they've got fucking... Um, uh, old mate playing... Michael uh, Keaton, you mean? Michael Keaton, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what was so confusing about it, though, because, like, they alluded to, like, in this universe, this is, like, you know, a spin-off of the Raimi universe with the different little bits in there, but then it was also, like, Michael Keaton's here, so, like, is that the Michael Keaton from the MCU? Or, like, what? Yes. I don't know what Sony are doing. So, I feel like Sony are trying to tether onto the MCU without actually being part of the MCU, but, like, they're getting... They're doing it dangerously now. I just don't really know what's going to happen post no way home um i just hope that it all comes together and it all works itself out but like i don't know it's it's a bit yeah i think at some point they're definitely going to cross over tom hardy and tom holland in some way i just think they're going to they want to and venom doesn't like do badly either does it like people actually like it I yeah, think. people like it. I'm more worried about like a Jared Leto Morbius involvement and like they yeah. continue to make all this shit stuff. And but it's more like, oh, you just take Tom Holland out of the MCU and we forget about it. It's like, no, but we told the story where he's out. And I'm like, yeah, but now, what was the point? You know what I mean? Like, what yeah. was the investment for? You've just like done some of his cause, and now you're just pulling him out. You may as well have just stopped after Far From Home. Yeah, like it's just so fucking weird. I don't know. I just feel like, and they're making it confusing now, where it actually is a cl- bit of a clusterfuck. I'm like, it's too much. It's now too much. Yeah. Um, we, you know, I might be wrong, but I'm, I'm very concerned about Far From Home. I'm not actually excited. I'm more like scared than anything yeah. else. I'm yeah. excited for Hawkeye because it's safe and I know it's safe. It's like just mm-hmm. hold me. You know what I mean? Like just yeah. keep me safe. Yeah. I'm worried um, about and no then way you've home. Got no way home, and I'm like, oh god. I have no idea like, what this movie is going to be. It's trying to be a lot. It could of either things. be the greatest triumph of Spider-Man or it could be the death I was going to say the greatest triumph of the MCU I'm like well it's not going to be Endgame or anything but or it's going to be like the worst thing to ever happen to the MCU yeah I am concerned and, and Tom Holland will fall from grace um but yeah there you go that's no way home I guess fuck um yeah, yeah. weird super weird um have you seen any good movies lately I have not seen any good movies lately only I bad ones. I've been watching tons of bad movies lately. Have you? Have none, you? None, what? Really. Oh, okay. No. Well, that's weird. Yeah, no. okay. I watched Pig, um, though. Have you seen Pig yet? No, I was... Okay. I was supposed to watch it last night, but I, I, we didn't get around to it. Like, shit Ooh. happened. Um, but, like, I had plans with my mates who were going to watch Pig last night. Uh, I don't want you to say anything about it. Okay. I'm not going to say anything about it. Because I want to hate it. Like, I want to go in and I want it to be terrible. But these reviews, really? like, one of the reviews I read was, like, it's 97% of Rotten Tomatoes. One of the mm. reviews I read was, he called it the performance of a generation. <laughs> I mean. And I was like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Like, this is, I'm in, I'm in a TV show. I'm in virtual reality. I'm in the Matrix. Yeah, like, well, I'm not going to confirm nor deny anything. 
or even say did if you I like it? it or not. Did you, uh, do you want to nah, know? Tell me if you liked it. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. You're a fucking liar. You know, no. You're all messing with me. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> no, I'm done with this. It's when this you watch it. When you watch no, it. No, I you're... don't tell me anything. No, 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 no. It's... no. When I watch it, it's Nicolas Cage on the hunt for a truffle pig. Yeah, oh, fuck. it's so weirdly, like, I don't know. I can't explain without saying anything. You've been but it's... duped, man. You've been in... This is embarrassing for you. No, seriously. It's by it's, g- it's good. <laughs> I watched... um. I talked about this in Clubhouse. I watched The Last Duel um, the mm. other day. Oh, yeah, I did see The Ben Affleck and Matt Damon one, and it's mm. fucking so good. Mm. I hate that it's doing shit at the box office because it's actually so good. Mm. Interesting. Uh, that's my thoughts. I, I mean, highly recommended. Um, stars um, Matt Damon. Mm-hmm. And Adam Driver, and I need to remember this girl's name because she's killing it. She was in Free Guy. Um, what is her name? Jodie Coma. Um, she's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, she's she's the standout of the movie. Like her performance is second. All the performances in this movie are fucking so amazing. Mm-hmm. Even Ben Affleck and Ben Affleck, I rate. Like I think he's a fantastic actor, but like they just played roles that. I hadn't seen them play and they killed it. Like mm-hmm. Matt, seeing Matt Damon in a period piece is weird to me. Cause it's like, you're Matt Damon. Yeah. He's one of those actors where it's like, no, you can't be other people because you're Matt Damon. You're too famous. Mm-hmm. You're in too much thing, too many things. Um, but no, he, he, yeah, he blows me away. And Adam drivers, Adam driver. Um, nice. But I'm just like trying to tell people about this movie. I'm like, it's good. Go see it. It's worth watching. Mm-hmm. It's not the best movie of all time, but it's fucking good. And it deserves to make its money back at the very least. Jesus Christ. For the performances in this movie, for the production in this movie, mm-hmm. it's worth seeing. So go see it if you can. Good. Yeah. It's got... IMDb gave it 7.7. I'd give it at least an 8. But you that's don't. still a solid movie. Like, that's better than fucking what people are saying about um, James Bond at the moment. The new James Bond movie. People not liking it? I haven't seen it. I've heard it's mid, but then uh, again, the I, but I feel like, but to fit this whole, all these five Daniel Craig, James Bond movies, like the, they go from good to mid. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Casino like Royale, fucked ones. hard. Yeah. Um, Quantum of Solace, fucking mid. Uh, uh, Skyfall, so fucked super hard. Yeah. Spectre, mid. Mm-hmm. So mid. Yeah, I expected um, this to be another another win. He's banging. You, know? you wanted this to be the win. Yeah, you wanted yeah. this to be a send off. But I've heard it, people saying it's mid. Oh damn. People saying it's mid, uh, which is a shame because I love Casino Royale and Skyfall as well. Those two are mm-hmm. great movies. Yeah, yeah, they're really. Uh, good. But it just goes to show that the real action star is not James Bond, um, and it's uh, the, it's not the James Bond movies. It's America's Mission Impossible. Um, uh, and Tom Fast Cruise. and Furious, yeah. Uh, uh, that no, is, it's that is the the king of action films, and I will not uh, hear another word on it. Well, Fast and Furious are the worst movies, maybe of all time. I, I said argue. not another um, word. You don't yeah. get to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get sorry. I, I didn't hear that part. I forgot. That's my bad. Um, but yeah, no. I mean, you've got James Bond. Or you've got Ethan Hunt, and Ethan Hunt shits all over um, James Bond because it's Tom Cruise. And go fuck yourself. Um, Ridiculous. And do you know? Do you want to know which of the eight mission of the six current, but that seem to be eight Mission Impossible movies? Do you want to know which ones are bad? Zero of them. They're all. They all fuck super hard. Hmm. They all fuck super super hard. Fallout, bro. That was such a good movie. I have never seen such a, a good movie. movie. You've got to see. You've got to see Mission Impossible. Maybe you don't have to watch the first ones. Like the first trilogy. They were sold. They were really good. But the new three from like... Because they had a, like 10 years off and then they came back with like 4, 5, and 6. Those are so good. They're like fucking amazing movies. Hmm. No. Well, maybe. Um, maybe one day. I think, maybe a, I'll do what, it. Which one's Rogue Nation? Is that the fifth one? Or is that the fourth one? Because they just added in a bunch of new cast. In it. Um, I think, yeah, that's four. Rogue Nation's the fourth one. Oh, is it? Fuck, I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, I'm just googling. Uh, I've got actually I've got, I've got a question for you after this actually. Mm-hmm. Um, Ghost Protocol's the fourth one. Rogue Nation's five. 
Fallout 6. Okay. We've established that. We're here. It's all good. Everyone, okay. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. We're good. It's okay. We're okay. Um... This is um, going to be time. This is going to be clipped, and it's going to be used as a soundbite. I know that what I'm about to say to you, James. Okay. <sighs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> D's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck is that such a thing now? What have I missed that the internet's trying to dupe everyone and get them to be like, oh, I'll drag D's nuts across your face? Ha ha ha! Like, what the fuck is up with it's this? It's because of a viral video of this guy calling up his dad or something, and he accidentally tricks him, and then he's like, these nuts, and then la- he's laughing hysterically to himself. So the internet has now, like, decided that's the most funny thing in the world, and everyone's going to do it to each other. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's that's where it Can comes from. Can you send from. me this video? And I also hate it, yeah. Let me find it. The original D's Nuts video. Let's find it. Here we go. Wait, no. We want the original, original one. This one. The original, original. Is this the original? Yeah, I think this is the original, original. There you go. Hang on. But this is in 2015, this video. Yeah, it's old. Yeah, okay, hang on. I'll play just for Josh's um, awareness. I'm playing in three, two, one, go. Oh, because someone came in the mail today. Yeah, I did. These nuts. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, my God. Got him. <laughs> that can't be it. <laughs> that can't be yeah, he, he, he got him he got him with these nuts he got him with these nuts something came in the mail today what these nuts <laughs> yeah that's it and because it's so unfunny the intent decided it was funny um yeah and a few people got me this week that's uh yeah, yeah. Three, three people got me well I'd, I'd say two and a half people got me with mm-hmm. it because Malha tried to do it, and I was like, are you doing a D's Nuts thing to me? And he then said, D's Nuts. I'm like, well, I mean, I responded, so you did get me, but also, did you? Because I <laughs> feel like I saw it coming. Oh, man. It's, well. been, it's been a thing for a while. Like, um, there, was, there was Ligma. Do you know Ligma? No, what the fuck is that? So you'd say, so it, it was a thing. Everyone got Ninja with it. You know Ninja the streamer? Um everyone got him uh with it because they were going to a chat he got really mad about it and they were like did you hear about ligma and then he'd be like what's ligma and they'd be like ligma balls yeah um, okay like league and, league D's nuts or and he'd get yeah. he'd get really pissed off about it so that was that was another one you got um sug on d's um that's uh it's like, suck like on have you heard about what's been happening in in sug on d's and then someone's like well no what, what's been happening there and then they're like sug on these nuts and it's funny um that's not funny i'm gonna so... be honest with you it's not funny <laughs> none of it's funny none of that's funny <laughs> what you just said but um yeah that's so that's that's it yeah that's it that's it yeah oh, that's God. that's the meme and this eddie's is, been it's... getting absolutely destroyed yeah on, it's online but it's overstayed it's welcome to be honest with you i'm sick of it i'm fucking sick well of someone it. used to, you asked me a lord of the rings question like a serious dead set like a law lord of the rings question and disguised it like oh that was the disguise for a decent answer and I, and I got mad about it i was like that's actually, <laughs> i don't I, the, that's not okay you can't you can't that's not okay um to ask me a question about the lord of the rings that's serious and then use D's nuts because oh obviously I'm gonna have like God. that's that's it's like cheating because it's like obviously I'm gonna reply to talk any chance to talk about Lord of the Rings I will take. Um, <laughs> that's how they got you. So the, see, what's how they got me? But I'm like, did you really get me? Like that's cheating. You you really get me when you pull like the wool over me. Like you really like it's obscure. Or like yeah, that's making me talk about Lord of the Rings isn't getting me anything. It's I, you didn't get me. They got you. They got you, you good. Get me these nuts fuck you they didn't fucking get me good the one person got me good and i actually was so impressed with it it was the first one that got me and after that i just saw them all coming mm-hmm. um but someone just got, like asked me that like oh do you like imagine dragons ran a message and i was like oh 
I don't like Imagine Dragons, but maybe I haven't. I've never really listened to much of them. So I was like, "Oh, you got any recommendations?" He's like, Dra- <laughs> "Imagine Dragon, these nuts across your face," <laughs> and I was like, "That's actually funny." I laughed and I was like, "You That's got me!" Funny. Like I really thought it was a serious one. But that was the first person to get me, and then after that, I've sort of just been like, the rest have been obvious, other than that Lord of the Rings question. I actually thought I said that was too far, and they need to apologize. That's, what I said. That's, what I said. That's incredible. Oh. Yeah. Amazing. But, um, there we are. There we are. Anyway, uh, have you seen? You haven't seen Dune yet, have you? I've not, but I'm going to. Yeah, so am I. It's not. Out, none of it's out in Australia, which is where we oh, usually really? get movies early. Interesting. But James Bond isn't out here, and neither's Dune. They're not out mm. till first and second week in November. Interesting. Um, I think James Bond's next week or Dune's next week. One of them is next week, and the the other one's the week after. Okay. And I'm like, oh, that's fucking no. Eternals is next week. Shit, I don't even know. Well, this week when people listen to this, um, weird, super weird. But they've confirmed part two already. Um, yeah, legendary yeah. is it legendary, yeah. Which is, I guess, good because the ba- negative reviews I'd heard about Dune was that there has to be a part two for that to have been worth it. Mm-hmm. Like people are like, I mean, it's good, but if there's no part two, it's shit. Mm-hmm. Like because they don't finish obviously the story. Right. But if they've confirmed a part two, it's sort of like going into it knowing there's a second chapter. No. Um, to finish it off, that it might be a bit more like, oh, cool, like that was really enjoyable, but I'm actually really hyped for what's next. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. okay, that'll be fun. Look excited. To it. Excited. Uh, is it uh, before we get into Halo? Is there any other like game news? Uh, uh, that's gone. On? The state of play did nothing. Nothing. Oh, crazy? that was so bad. Yeah, no, it was terrible terrible yeah we don't talk um about that. okay uh the w- microsoft doing that weird fable thing i assumed you guys talked about that oh on the yeah we did, podcast. we did yeah that was weird that was fuck. that was so weird piss me off too piss me don't fucking fuck around with fable at, at me don't just do give that us a, just give us another day to get the chickens ready for nothing we'd call it fable anniversary but that name's already taken what are you talking <laughs> and about then nothing oh happened. we're sorry it had nothing to do with fable no, it did, didn't it? You little cunt. It had nothing to like, do with Fable, and we also had nothing. That nothing happened either. I don't. It mental. Fucking what the hell? It was mental. It was mental. Yeah, I didn't like that. Didn't mm-hmm. like that. I found that disrespectful. Yeah, um, odd. But uh, anyway, we what we did get was Halo. Halo's six minute campaign re reveal after the disaster that was the twenty twenty campaign reveal. Yeah. Uh, you put out a video. To about your concerns, I put out a video talking about my thoughts and concerns. Mm-hmm. Um, talk to me. Mm-hmm. Um, did you watch my video? I watch your video because I could. If you I haven't watched mine, I'll, I'll respond to you. I was first. going to, but I was. I when you put it out. <laughs> I was... No, 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 no. Leave it at that. Leave okay. Don't say anything. Okay. I was okay. going to, and then just leave it. Okay. You don't need to fucking suck me off before yeah, telling right. me you didn't watch the video, mate. You I can didn't just watch say it. I didn't watch it. Hey, I was going yeah, to. Cool. Didn't know. Um, yeah, you don't say I was gonna. Don't say I was gonna. But then I clicked on the video and I, I saw your face and I was like, no, no, I can't yeah, do it. I, I can't do it. I'll watch Fishies instead. He put one out. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, you saw that I'd cut my hair and it's like, I can't look at him. Yeah, I was like, that looks weird. Don't His like glorious it. slick back hair. Yeah. Ah, he's gone. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. It was tough. It was tough to let it go. Yeah. Um, but sometimes you look yourself in the mirror and you're like, hey, look, I don't feel like that guy right now. Yeah. Sometimes you've got so to you make a change. Yeah. You gotta do it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, uh, you're very concerned, obviously, with the open world, as am I. Yeah. Uh, when you say you're concerned, are you leaning still? Because you were quite excited about mm-hmm. it after all these multiplayer tests and stuff. Are you leaning towards you're more concerned than excited, or you're still more excited than concerned? Where's the like? Where um, are we at right now? God, it's. I think it's a bit of a balance. I think I'm still very excited for the game. I still think it's. I. I at least I hope that the story is going to be solid enough that it's carrying this. And I. I do believe that. Um, just based on everything three four three have said, that you know the main focus probably won't be on the on the open world and all of that stuff, and the main focus will actually be elsewhere. But the open world exists, a thing you can do and you can explore, and is fun to play around in. I just I'm a little bit worried about the fact that from all the marketing, it looks like the opposite of that. It looks like the main focus is on the open world. So like the main focus is on going and doing these bandit camps, and it is on on wandering around. And I don't mind the whole exploration aspect of it 
too much i think the exploration is cool i just think what they've shown is really boring i don't really want to go to you know a fucking refinery or a factory and blow it up like I don't, that's not fun but if there's you know going inside of an old forerunner structure exploring it and finding lore then i'm all in for that that's fun um but i don't find what they've shown substantial enough for like me to be excited for the open world or the exploration aspect of it yeah um, yeah so if there's you know d- crashed unsc sp- stuff or an abandoned base or a you know like i said forerunner structures that you can learn lore about in all of these different places you get little little voice notes or whatever and i know there are some of those in the game because 343 did put out a little voice note with um halsey talking to john um about cortana um <laughs> which you can you can find what <laughs> What? What? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> you okay? Oh, I'm an insane person. What happened? I, I, I don't know why. I forgot Halsey, Dr. Halsey was a cat because you didn't call her Dr. Halsey, you called her Halsey. I just pictured <laughs> the singer Halsey <laughs> talking to Master Chief. And I yeah, literally was like, is. wait, what are you talking about? And then I remembered, and then I just started laughing at myself because oh my I was literally imagining so stupid. fucking <laughs> Halsey, Halsey the singer talking to the Master Chief. It's um, 343 have gone in an interesting direction with Halo Infinite. Um, but Chief actually really looks up really looks up to Halsey the singer. I don't know why I feel that stuff. I just saw it in my head, like vividly, like I saw the image of that in my head. And oh it just my made God. me laugh. That's incredible. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, down. yeah. I'm so sorry. Go um, on. Take, start, start that whole thing again. Talk yeah, so there's, so, so there's so there's, they released a voice note of Halsey and John having a conversation about Cortana. Um, yeah, Dr. Halsey. Please say is, Dr. Halsey. Yeah, Dr. Dr. Halsey. Halsey. Yeah. yeah, I can't um, do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's something you can find <laughs> on Zeta Halo. So there are those things those things do exist they've just not shown any of it in that in that gameplay overview they showed spawning in vehicles and blowing shit up and you know going into this little bandit camp and killing a bunch of enemies and stealing a scorpion and like yeah it's like yeah i guess it kind of looks cool but i want some of those more meaningful things to do um and i know they're there but it just worries me a bit that that's all that all they've shown is kind of to me it's kind of boring um yeah. I want those. I want those meaningful story moments. Those those collectibles. Yes, those exactly. um, big set pieces and linear sections. Like you know, Th- that's that's what you worry about. It's it's mm-hmm. missing. Where's they're putting like mini set pieces that aren't as memorable, spreading them out in like an empty fucking bloated open world. Like no, or is it? I want the linear. You give me the tools, and I have to deal with it in that mm. way like those memorable massive set pieces yeah like i mean look at think about the end of um shit what was the mission um was it was it called the covenant on halo 3 where you start yeah. off and you're in the you're in the woodland biome um and then you you, oh, you get dude, a scorpion yeah. and you move through a cave and you come out and you're in this big snowy canyon and then you come across they the, the covenant drop down two scarab tanks you have to fight two scarabs oh, simultaneously dude. It's like, is there any better Halo set pieces than in Halo Three? Like, are you oh, kidding me? They dude? killed it. Like, they killed it. Think about the ending, like the whole warthog drive you got to do at the end of Halo Three. It's yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. amazing. And same with Halo One. Like those moments where, what I love in Halo is that, like, when you play each mission, you're like, oh, I can't wait. I hope they do like a really cool warthog mission in this game. Like, you know, when you're playing a Halo, what I would get excited about was the different mission structures and mission varieties of like, yeah, yeah. oh, Reach does it great as well like you you have your missions where you, you want your stealth where it's a more of a sniper type mission mm-hmm. or you have your like more of a in close space type missions or scorpion in the air with whatever game it is because halo where they change the air vehicles every game it's called something different it's a falcon um, in the reach yeah fal- well that that mission in reach new alexandria well, it's not. Is it New Alexandria, or is that the one before it? New Alexandria is the one. Shit, I'm not well versed in Reach. Because Re- Reach is when you like after um, old mate dies and you drop down from the ship and the, your armor locks and you're in New Alexandria, um, mm-hmm. and then you're on the ground and you're just like rescuing people. And then the next mission, you're just flying around the city. Like that's that whole section of Reach was unfucking mm-hmm. real good. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really so good. good um but that's the thing like each mission is totally different 
style of mission totally different set piece and style of what you were doing in terms of gameplay mechanics whereas like oh it's open world I'm like oh so I'm just gonna spend the whole game jumping in a warthog and driving from place to place like where's the I'm gonna get sick of driving in a warthog you know Mm -hmm. what I mean like I wanna have those moments where I'm like this mission I'm here in this place and it's fucking this is happening yeah and they and 343 haven't nailed that Halo 4 had a couple of decent enough ones but just didn't nail it for sure didn't nail that and Halo 5 is a fucking abortion so like it's they, um i don't know what's going on man i just don't yeah. know what the fuck and and i found it i said this in a video i found it disrespectful them trying to tell us halo has always been about oh you're telling me what halo's always been about <laughs> fuck you 343 you've just figured that out it's always been about the master chief and cortana i'm like you're a piece of shit to even say that to me amazing After you released halo 5 you cunt yeah like, are you serious? It's weird because I've had a lot of comments on my video where, like, it's fine if you think this looks good and you think this game looks fun and you're really into that open world aspect. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with yeah. that. But All when good. you're, but, but when people are trying to tell me, no, 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 Halo's always been open world. Someone that pisses said that me to off. me too. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? It's never been open world. The closest was ODST, and that was that was still a linear experience. It's yeah. Halo One was not open world just because oh, the because silent they, cartographer let you go to like ca- yeah. to get, let you go to like you could choose two bases you like which things. base do you want to go to first like it's this tiny little area that's not an open that doesn't mean the game's open one also silent cartographer is such a good mission because there's only the, one of them if, it's my it, favorite mission in the like, history of halo silent cartographer is my favorite it's mission an incredible in the history mission. of halo and if but yeah. halo infinite is if halo ce was only the silent cartographer 10 times like, I well, don't it's more want, no, like, it's more of it looks like the mission. It looks like Halo Mission Two in 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 um, Combat Evolved. Looks oh like yeah, Combat yeah, Evolved, yeah. It looks like Halo. that too. That's what it looks like. It's like this. It's like. those. It's like it's the whole game. Is it that pisses mission. me off too that this game as well is just the woods. Like you're just in this woodland biome and there's yeah. no other biomes. Like are we not? What about the snow? What about the deserts? Like why aren't we seeing these different diverse regions? About like jungles. Why is this just? fucking woods what it, it gets boring it's that iconic halo look but it's now just been done to death in infinite they've just taken like you know what's the iconic look of halo ce it's you know that that opening mission when you first get on the halo ring um halo has always been a woodland bio <laughs> okay. Thanks, it's just like ah uh, it's like when you look at like halo 2 the the diverse environments in halo 2 there's so many different places you go to and in this it's like you're just in the fucking forest and it's like, okay, like, that'll be fun for a bit. But then once you've played, like, you know, how long is this game? Like, I don't know. Um, yeah. It's going to be, it's not going to be anywhere near as fun to traverse. And- I can't wait to go and do um, a little, like, fucking bandit camp. Imagine that. Oh the God. checklist, dude. Think about the checklist, oh how satisfying God. it would be to tick two boxes. And I feel like Halo <laughs> fans, right, are going through the same thing we went through with Assassin's Creed Origins in the halo fans are all for this they're like yeah halo needed refreshing it needed changing this is an incredible direction i'm so excited it's even There's, like no more they content. didn't halo fans don't know the fuck that we're halo fans these people i don't know who these cunts are that are saying the halo fans but they've been around for all the five minutes they it's don't know what about. it's really i refuse weird. to believe a halo fan that's been a fan since the first game for the last 20 plus years literally 20 years mm-hmm and they like what's happening right now. Yeah, it's, it's There's no way. I refuse it's to believe. I was watching this video yesterday. From or someone... aren't skeptical? You can like it, but you've got you've got to be skeptical. Yeah, there's no way that you're looking at this and you're like, I just don't understand how you can look at this and be like, this is exactly what Halo needed. Like, I just don't get how that's what you think. Like, I, it's wild to me. But I was I was watching this video yesterday where this guy said, like, he was talking about how, um, you know, three four three's games are way too linear, and he's glad that Halo's going back to being more open world. And I'm like, what the fuck does that the... mean? more fuck open world halo about? was never open world what the fuck i just don't get just it i just do not get it like these Someone people have like to, someone's offended because i was like first person shooters like this shouldn't be open world like i don't like it like that and i said first person shooters like this he goes what about far cry i'm like well far cry isn't like this is it it's also it's a, it's an open world survival game and also not a great reference because there's out of six far cry games there's one good one <laughs> um so i don't know what the fuck you're yeah. talking about um that's so dumb mental people are mental what what is i thought about this today i was <laughs> this is a conversation i had yeah. at the office today um someone my boss was like sold something like on facebook marketplace and the person's like i don't want to pick it up so can you mail it to me and they just transferred them an extra ten dollars <laughs> for the mailing 
The mailing cost my boss, I think, $5. The person now messaging or abusing her going, I want the other $5 <laughs> back. Wait, what? But I had to inconvenience myself during a work day to go and put in the post office. That pays for that $5. That's what you paid for. Me to go around and do it and pay for the fucking... Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But also, who the fuck even thinks like that? And it was that moment of like, oh, there's fucking... People yeah, are people crazy, are dude. But you surround yourself with people that are like you. You don't, t- you don't often like end up in a work environment or a social environment or obviously family and friends where people aren't at least somewhat similar mm-hmm. enough to you. And, but then you remember there's people in the world that you'll never meet and mm-hmm. they're crazy. And they're around other crazy people and they don't know people like you exist. Yeah. And they live in like your town. There's people like, and that's who these Halo fans are. Like video game fans. I'm like, these people, people are crazy. They do, what are they talking about? Halo's open world. Yeah, it's weird. Nicolas Cage gave the performance <laughs> of Generation <laughs> What are we talking that. about? People are, people are crazy. Yeah, it's fucking weird. That's it's what, really is, fucking weird. I just don't really understand, like, what this adds to Halo. I, to, I, mean, I guess for some people, Halo was always the sandbox more so than, you know, linear set pieces or the story. I guess to them, the most fun they had in Halo was, you know, being really creative in this sandbox environment, which I guess makes sense, like, to rationalise it. I guess they're like, well, Halo, now Halo Infinite is more of that thing, the thing that I loved in Halo CE where I could do these crazy things. But, but when you get too much of a good thing, but it these sucks. People don't that's get the whole that. point of it. It's like, like, what's good about those larger, what's good about the larger missions, like the Silent Cartographer mm-hmm. or Halo or any anything like that, Those because there are those, like you said, the bigger set piece missions where you have a bit more freedom than mm-hmm. in other missions. But what makes it good is that it's not like that in every mission. You look forward to those missions, but then other people are like, oh, I really like that sniper mission. Mm-hmm. Or I really like that, like, in close quarters, like you're in a forerunner site or you're in a Covenant ship. Or, yeah. you know what I mean? Or that mission with that mission you get to, like, fly around mm. in a Falcon. Depending on what you're into. Or the fact that you can do all of those things in this yeah, variety of missions. The variety like, is that. the fact that it switches it up. Every time you do a new mission, it's a completely different environment. It's a completely different gameplay mechanic you're working with. That's what makes Halo so fun. It's diverse and it takes you through this story in a really interesting way, gameplay wise and visually. Whereas Infinite is just like, oh, people really like driving around in a warthog and they really like flying around. Let's just make that the whole game. And then it's like, like that's just not... But if not always a warthog, if I get enough credits, I can call yeah. in a score. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> fun. It's fun. What? What are we talking uh... about? I just don't know. I saw someone saying like... If, if, you're, if you're sitting there looking at this saying, this is... Like you can, like you said, you, if you were excited about this, because like oh, I actually want this, this looks good, fair enough. But if you're sitting there trying to tell me, trying to tell us that Halo's always been an open world, and this is the direction Halo needed, and this is the best decision anyone could have made, you're a fucking idiot. With yeah. the greatest respect, like honestly, yeah, it's really, it's really what fucking the fuck weird. What are you it's just, talking about? And, and Halo fans are like up in arms about this. Like you saw the dislike to like ratio on Ethan's video. Um, People are really angry if you criticize Halo Infinite. Um, it's it's wild. Like the Halo fans are fucking rabid, um, and it's it's just strange. Like it feels like no one's on the same page as me. It feels like it's just fucking us, and no one else can like see the worrying things here. It's 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 us against the world. That's what makes us the four pillars. That's why people come to us because they're like, oh, we've got yeah, some true. fucking people with some heads heads on their shoulders willing to say what needs yeah. to be said dude yeah. that's what we're here we say, we say what needs to be said and everyone's too we afraid say what... to say yeah that's us yeah we say what needs to be said huh. um people are yeah. people are afraid people are afraid to, to speak the truth or well, people are afraid to just say mm. what they think what they actually think i don't care if i'm wrong i'm if i think it yeah. i'm gonna say it i'm not gonna sit here worried about like getting fucking dislikes yeah. and shit but i'll tell you what we're wrong about no, nothing, nothing at all we're, we're right on the money. we're on the money uh, yeah Obje- oh, you've said it now <laughs> i love saying objectively still to things and there's always one person that's like uh i think you mean subjectively <laughs> it's like i got ya fucking d's nuts uh, <laughs> you know <laughs> objectively is the d's nuts of the as always podcast oh it's way better and funnier yeah. as well it's yeah you know it's re- you've got to be an intelligent person to understand the uh the yeah, that's true. Drink. You do. You do have to. Be. You need an IQ of at least, you know, five. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. The the lower the number, the yeah, better yeah, with yeah, IQ. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Good, 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 good. Uh, another thing I'm worried about with Halo, dude, is... I obviously think Halo 5 is my, it's my least favorite game of all time. We mm-hmm. all know that. We're well aware. Well documented how much I hate Halo 5. But you're going to pretend it didn't really happen? That's what it feels like. What the... F- like, the end of Halo 5, so much happened. No, the, it's Cortana, definitely... Cortana, like, it's definitely took over happening. the galaxy. It's definitely still happening. And and Chief was with, like, Locke and all those... Yeah, well, all that stuff cunts. is, like... I think they've I think they've told that story in a, in a comic or in a, in a novel. I don't know. They've, like, written... Because this is six oh. months after... But this is my point, dude. Uh, five. Fix it in the game, not in a comic book. And well, at least they're, they're still happen. they're definitely still following up on the story of Cortana. That's still a central focus of this game. I know that. I nice. get it. But but Cortana was like taking over and policing the fucking galaxy and Earth. She had guardians. Yeah, she's done like, it. Where are they? That's where, where are the that's the, what universe we live in now. There's the Cortana and her creator are like controlling everything, and they fucked everyone over. Um, I don't really know how that ties into the banished, but I guess we'll find out. Um. But that's what I mean. I'm like, but the banish is fucking Roman free, yeah. ripping and tearing. I guess we'll find out. And they're worrying about Chief. I'm like, are we not worried about the fucking machines that are controlling the galaxy? Mm. I guess we'll find out. I'm interested because they did touch upon it in Halo Wars too. It's like this: the the post credit scene has a guardian show up. So it's still it's still there. Everything's still relevant. I'm interested to find out how. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm concerned. Mm-hmm. Um, but so overall, what are the good things? So let's talk about the yeah, good yeah, things because yeah. obviously we're vented. What did you um, like about? I the liked reveal? the music. Uh, I liked uh, Chief. Yeah, I, I really liked the weapon. I think she's actually really a good character. I think she's really cool. Um, Different vibe to to mm-hmm. the Cortana. Yeah. No way more um, serving a yeah. serving AI. Whereas like, oh, what should we do? Yeah, like, what yeah. do you think? Whereas I feel like the the Cortana that we know is like we're a team and mm-hmm. we're on. The, yeah, I feel same like it's level. this reverse it's relationship almost because in like Halo CE, you've got Chief is the one he's like a soldier, he's following orders, and Cortana's the one that's like trying to get him to think for himself, sort of thing. Um, it's it's pretty subtle. Yeah. It's not really like a core focus of an arc or anything, but it's just like that's the sort of dynamic they have. But it is a great arc um, over the series because Chief certainly has his yeah, own. Yeah, and like that's now. one that of the things in like the three four three games is it's a very Captain America arc as yeah, well. To be yeah, fair, cause... you know what I mean? Where you're like the yes man to the system, but then you get your own yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah. And, you have to do what you think, right? right. Yeah. And I think you've got a kind of got an opposite thing here where the weapon is very much serving the UNSC and she's she knows what her job is, but Chief is sort of teaching her in a way. Um to like you see those moments yeah. where like she's a bit more she's kinda of naive, um, but she gets she seems kind of curious too. Yeah. And I think Chief I think they'll have a really good yeah. relationship together. So I'm really excited to see how that plays out. Um and also how that plays into, you know, the the ultimate goal of stopping Cortana. Um and I like how Cortana mm-hmm. has her old Halo Three character model, and the the weapon has the sort of three four three yeah, Cortana. Yeah, well, she's model. got well, Cortana's gone. She's all purple again, which is um, which is like uh, yeah. you know, the uh, Halo CE days, which is nice to see. Um, and they've also managed to differentiate yep. there from the weapons, so they look different enough, uh, which is nice. Um, and yeah, I just think, I mean, the, the the general gameplay as well of the of the campaign looks fun. Like the, it doesn't look unfun. Um, it's more the content for me <laughs> that's, the, that's, that's, that's the concerning yeah. bit. You've got like uh, the uh, the like what, what was it? Is that like special elite guy who's like hunting you or whatever? Um, he looks really fucking cool. Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, the yeah. Spartan yeah. hunter. And you got the harbinger character. as well, the forerunner person. Yep, I'm. I I. I like that. So that's interesting. It shows that there's a bit more depth to being on this Halo ring than just the singular story. It looks like there's several threads going on at once, um, which looks like it could get quite fun if there's a lot going on. It means that it's actually packed with story rather than just like, you know, random shit. Um, So that's that's cool. Um, Yeah, like overall, I think it looks good. Like the sandbox looks fucking great. Like when you see fucking him go up in the Banshee jumps out of the banshee shoots one of the other banshees and then grapples onto the other one to like hijack it that was fucking awesome um so yeah. there's some cool shit there like the sandbox looks really fun to play around in um overall i'm i'm i am looking forward to halo infinite i just am just concerned i'm just worried that i'm gonna not like it uh, as much as i'm excited and really want to like it so 
I, I, well, I mean, just based on the fact that we're playing Smash Shift the whole game, I know I'm going to like it more mm-hmm. than Halo 5, right? Like, we know, I think we know that. I think we know that. Like, just simply not being the dumbest story ever told and playing is not Master Chief and being lied to by, in mm-hmm. all the marketing. Um, that alone, you're better than Halo 5. Yep. You know what I mean? We can have a conversation. Um, but for, for me to love Halo again, this can't just be yeah, possible. Yeah. I said it in my video, I'll say it again. This campaign has to fuck, and it mm-hmm. has to fuck super yeah, hard. Yeah, it's got to do something that makes me really love it. Like, I, I want to be at a point where I'm like, wow, I'm actually just having a good fucking time. Like, there needs to be a moment, like, a point when I'm playing it where I no longer feel apprehensive, and I'm just like, oh, this is just really fun. Um, and if that's the case, then I'm going to be all in with it. Um, but if, you know, I'm still halfway through and I'm feeling like, oh, God, I hope this game gets good at some point, then, you know, it's going to be... Yeah. It's going to be worrying. I don't want to be like waiting until the midpoint of the game for a moment to happen where it feels like Halo. I want it to feel like Halo from the very get-go. Um, and hopefully we get that. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, no, I hope so too. And I think it's certainly doing its best to have the original Halo vibe. I still just think based on the fact they're doing an open world type sam- like mm-hmm. sandbox campaign, um, I just don't still don't think they get Halo. I still don't think they get it. And which makes me worried. It's like, yeah, sure. They're showing me in the marketing that the music's back, the art style's back, and they're trying to make it all about the characters we know and love. But when we play it, will it really be the characters we know and love? Do you get it? Or do you still not get it? I don't believe yet that 343 Mm get Halo. Yeah. I haven't seen that they get it yet. Like, they know how to port the Master Chief Collection and continue that, that in a good way. Obviously, that's been really... The success of that has grown tremendously and been really Mm -hmm. good, obviously. Um... And how they've managed that uh, over the, what, f- how many years is the Master Chief? Uh, yeah, seven, seven years, years yeah. the Master Chief Collection's been in? They've done yeah. really well with it. Got to give them credit for that. Um, but they haven't made an original yeah. Halo that's good. Yeah, for sure. Like, uh, the, the th- there's things I liked about 4, and one of them was Chief's development as a character. That was actually something yeah, I really liked decent stuff. I think they did there's a really good, good bits, yeah. really good stuff with Chief getting his yeah. own voice. Like, that was such a big thing. Him defying orders in 4 yeah, was yeah. actually Yeah, that's one of the best moments huge. in the game. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, 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 I've never made that connection. I'm like, it's very Captain America. It is. It's, I, no wonder I like it so much. Like, it's yeah, very yeah. good, um, the way they do that story. Uh, and that's why it's like, you, we just want to see this great follow-up in 5, and that just, it's, a, it's, the, it's so yeah, bad. It's, a, it's yeah. just unbelievably it's bad. Um. Uh. Oh God. What? Yeah. A, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I like the weapon too. I like uh, you know Chief and how, and how he does feel like the Chief that Elise has developed mm-hmm. since four. Um, and he's got his own voice and um. It being in a Halo ring, like there's there's lots of good focuses mm-hmm. of this game. I just want this sandbox to not be as important as they're making it sound and there to be certainly more of those linear missions and big set pieces yeah. and memorable campaign story mm-hmm. moments and character moments. And even, not just be, are we stuck on Zeta Hell? Is that so. it? There's nowhere else in yeah, other locations of the, the game? Yeah. yeah, which I assumed it would be. But like at the end, do we not like get back to Earth? You know, that's the, yeah. you know, the question. It's I guess more we'll of find that out. Sort of side of things. Like, I guess we, we'll find out. Yeah, we, we, will, well, we will find out. Do you know what I want? And I mm-hmm. won't be mad at it. If they do some sort of Halo 1, Halo 3, ending, set piece, got to drive in a warthog to- mm-hmm. on a time limit. You yeah, can't be no, mad at they've that. They've got to do You've it. You've got to do yeah. it. Like, warthog I would be... It's part of Halo. I... There's got... They've, it's been enough years, you've got to yeah, do a new yeah, warthog yeah. run. You can't make a good original Halo uh, yeah, without no, doing you've it. You've got to do it. I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I need a yeah. warthog run. On, on just a fucking falling mm-hmm. apart Halo ring. Um, yeah. But, like, it's not even... It's not even a Halo ring in three it's though. The it's arc. the arc, but it's, well, know. no, no, no. You are on. You it's are a, actually on a Halo ring. Oh, no, it is. A, no, you yeah, are on yeah, a Halo. You are. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's a Halo ring in the arc. Yeah, it's just coming out of the arc. arc. It's the yeah installation zero four. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, oh, dude, Halo three is yeah. so good. I'm excited. I'm gonna do a video in the next couple of weeks of like, um, maybe like two different ones, but me playing my favorite mission. So, Silent T- can't toggle from Legendary, and then me playing my favorite mission from Halo mm-hmm. three. Um, and just like a bit of a funtage for it, like in the, to hype yeah. up, like I'll just like play it, cut it together in yeah, a nice little fun. video. I think that'll be fun. Um, 
just to get me hyped as well be like fuck yeah fucking halo get mm-hmm. get keen again to yeah. get back into it um and just i'm just excited to make some videos and you guys to be making videos and we're all we're all covering mm-hmm. halo infinite that's the, the focus yeah, for the yeah. next couple of months and then um when the new year begins as the four pillars as a community as creators well, we can focus on mm-hmm. horizon for yeah. West next and that that be the next thing which will be fucking it's dude. so fun yeah it's so let's fun. go i'm excited yes yeah. it's fun again there's there's fun games we can all rally mm-hmm. around again like that we have a i feel like we have a plan now as yeah. a community it's okay it's halo infinite mm-hmm. time let's all get amongst it Fuck let's yeah. all have fun um and even if the game sucks let's have yeah. fun let's just have fun together and then know that the next season uh is horizon bid west which we know is mm-hmm. gonna fuck super hard yeah hell yeah uh, and then we've got God of War next mm-hmm. year as well and all these other, like there's yeah. so many like what, what oh games do we have there's, next year what do we so know many. for there sure there are so many games too many to name like it's ridiculous there's just me and Ben made a list there is so many games coming out there's um, let's have a look we've got I'm trying to think of the big ones here we've got Horizon Forbidden West there's Elden Ring um, yeah. that won't be one we rally is... around I'm not like not that it's not going to be good I just don't think we're all going to be see Starfield um, for Spoken do you reckon we'll get amongst that I don't maybe. know if that's going to be who one knows we, maybe maybe I mean we would if it was in the next Elder mm-hmm. Scrolls I'm sure we would I mean in terms of like big 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 ones not like loads that maybe we'll all get around but you got like Gotham Knights Suicide Squad I feel like we need at least four big games like mm-hmm. in the year that we all get around yeah well we can and we have God of War and Forbidden West yeah. for guarantee we'll, 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 we'll think it up we'll get we'll get ourselves a list we will we'll we'll come up with something and we'll uh, yeah 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 we'll just need to have something Why after forbidden west to get it. like what's coming around may yeah the, like the, what's yeah, the may yeah, yeah. game there's yeah well, you know? i'm sure we'll get new announcements and stuff um, so. when does when does um when does um that's Southfield november come out? Is that yeah, end november of next 11th. year uh, okay yeah okay starfield um yeah there is a there's mm-hmm. forespoken that's there yeah. Is Breath of the Wild Maybe. two next year? I think I don't think we know for sure. Yeah, I mean I'm not I'm not getting around that. I'm not playing. Yeah, fucking no, I, d- I didn't like Breath of the Wild. Pokemon. Unless Honestly, the same I played Pokemon. it, I, d- I don't like Breath of the Wild. I think it's boring. Um, I, I liked thought you it loved for the it. first like ten hours, and then it, I realized that was the whole game, and I just got really bored. Um, yeah. Oh, did you? Did, so no, yeah, I did finish, it. finish I finished it? it. But um, yeah, people were mad at me because I didn't because i raced to get to the end but i was just i didn't want to just meander around doing nothing i like wanted to do something so i was like well i, I want to go do the next divine beast because the whole game is essentially you finish the tutorial segment the intro segment where you learn about how things work then you have to defeat four divine beasts and then you beat the final boss and the content of the game is like everything in between there but i didn't really find any of it fun i, I it didn't really do anything for yeah, me okay. so i don't know i just kind of wanted to get through it yeah, fair. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna play that. Hogwarts yeah, Legacy coming next. I'm not a big Harry Potter guy, but I mean, we could get we could get amongst that if that's if it's yeah. timely, yeah, we'll right? See. But Forbidden West, we know there's Forbidden West mm-hmm. first up, yeah. and that's exciting. That'll be good. That's I'm exciting. Forward to it. We'll be fine. Yeah. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Um, I know you need to get to the vet. I do yes. I um, do. yeah. In a sec. So well, we'll leave it there. Um, cool. that was a fun, quick, quick, rapid. Uh, fire podcast we got yeah, a lot we, we got through a lot and we got to talk about Halo a lot so that's fantastic um, so everyone if you like what you listen to here want to hear more patreon.com forward slash as oh, yeah. always for just a dollar a month you can hear a whole lot more of that um, the, the Clubhouse podcast Tyler's Tales early access James mm-hmm. videos My, I, I don't put videos out early access I just don't do it I don't do enough videos if I do a video you're getting mm-hmm. it straight away because it's just like what a miracle yeah. I made a video sure. um, and James is a better anyway so it's fine um, uh, <laughs> I'm great at does my own channel um, <laughs> but anyway thank you everybody for listening for mm-hmm. watching um, and subscribe to the Four Pillars Network rate us on podcast services and we'll see you next week for the Four Pillars podcast and hopefully we'll, yeah. be, we'll all be back it'll be, it'll be fine um, and of course thank you to the sweet vintage lads um, that make the show happen James are you I able am. to uh, read the all list right. of amazing people uh, that we are making the show happen Ollie the superior Ollie Avery Dobbs Baron Keen Clark 53 Damien Epic Alaric or Gladriel's Mystical Pussy Ferentino Flash Paradox 
uh, Franco, Jesper Olsen, King Richard III, Ryan Hafer, Seth, Bullsack 47, Aragon, Henry, Kimosaba Gamer, Cream Pies, Lima Strad, Sicarius, aka Kieran, Abbas the Sheesh, that but that's bussin no cap. Alfie Robert, Andy Cure, Big Dick 66999, Ben Davis, Ben Higgins is Frank for his stick brethren, Benedict Clubbers, BF HC, Biggest Fucking Virgin, Bodge, BQ Overlord the Elder, Brian Ford, Christian 0210, Connor DeRose, Bullying in the Alley, Emil Catborg, Eredita the Hacker, Ethan Dean, Evan the Poet, Fishy, Furious Coco, Gene, Gimme Your Penis, Ginko Swag, God Bless the Visionary, Zack Schneider, Gwen Hughes, Hooky, Idiot Strength, Jack Nichols, Jack DG 1998, Jaden B. Bennett, Joe the Founded Scarab, Josh DeVilliers, Josh J. Anderson, Joshua Morak, Assassin, Christian Rowe, Liam, Luca, Louis, Lucas, uh, R05, uh, Louis de Leon, Mario, 5380, Master Bass, Max H, Nick Miller, Attacker World 7, our best and favorite mod, Brownie, Owen, Big Brain Brain, Philip Stillwagon, Radok, Rabjai, Son of a Bitch, Ochi Adogo, Sparky Bark, Spectral Divisional, Adrian, I Don't Know Man, Sussy, Imposter, Amogus Moment, The Blue Cow, Theftmus, they used to call me the Greeny Bear, but Assassin Christmas is long gone, aka Connor, TJFL, Tobias Forge, please release the new Ghost album, Sincerely Adam, Tony, Tristan Oberfell, Walshy, you absolute filly thothage, aka Zaccuccino, and Zeppo. Thank you all so much. We love you. Thanks for the support, and uh, we'll see you in two weeks for another episode. And all the other shows. We do a lot of shows, don't we? So there's a few shows. We do a lot of shows. We'll we see you for those here Thanks on the network. Yeah. Nice. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.